Hi, I'm Erica Gamet for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a submittable form within an IN5 project. Well, this functionality isn't built into InDesign or IN5, you can get a lot of form functionality by embedding a Google form into your InDesign document. The first thing you need to do is go to forms.google.com and make sure that you're signed into your Google account. There's some templates up here to create forms, and I already have a sample form created down here. This one just has a couple questions with a couple different answer types. Just something simple for our demonstration here. Once you've made the form, you'll need to grab what's known as an embed code. Go up here to the top and click the send button. We'll come down here to these angled brackets and click on that. We'll leave the dimensions as they are, and we'll go ahead and click copy to copy that embed code out to our clipboard. Now we'll close that up and we'll head over to our InDesign document and you can either paste that embed code directly, or you can use insert HTML from the object menu. We'll go ahead and paste the code in here and say OK. And you may see this, that strange little thing we saw for a second there, it went away. Sometimes it stays. Sometimes it goes ahead and shows you a preview of your form. It's just a weird oddity with InDesign. If you do see that, you can right click on it and choose edit HTML. And then just click OK. Don't make any edits, just go ahead and click OK, and then you should see this preview. If you don't use the insert HTML command and you just do a normal paste, Command or Control V, you should see the preview right away. Either way, it sometimes takes a second or two for it to show up. Anyway, we've got that in here now, and I'm just going to go ahead and place this where I want it on the page. And there's our form on the page. I'll go ahead and save that, and now we're ready to export it. I'm going to go up to the IN5 menu, and I'm going to go ahead and use the Easy Export Wizard. And it says let's do a landing page. Sure, that's great. And Pixel Perfect, also great. And we'll go ahead and click Next, and then I'll export it. I can give it a name in that field that was there. I can go ahead and open it in my default browser. And there's our layout and our form. I can go ahead and answer these questions really quickly. We'll just put some text in there. And we'll go ahead and click one of the answers here. When we're all done filling it out, we'll click Submit. We can jump back over to the Google form. And we want to check on the responses. I can come down here and see how everybody responded and do whatever I need to with the data. And if you want, you can set up email notifications to be alerted when somebody responds to the form. So make sure you're on the Responses tab here. Come over here to the three little dots and click on them and then just choose Get Email Notifications for new responses. And that's it. That's all you need to do to include a submittable form in InDesign when exporting to HTML with IN5. If you want to see more of what you can do with IN5, subscribe to the Ajar Productions YouTube channel. Hit the bell to get notified of new videos, and we'll see you in the next one.